Hello, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Terran Tech. Uh, I've kind of moved out of uh, where the Almighty Cube was in the last one. Uh, went over, I was hoping to find, re really, I, I was thinking about it uh, between uh, last episode and this one. Uh, really what I need to find is uh, start getting into uh, Better Tomorrow. Um, and the reason we need to get into Better Tomorrow is simply because uh, I need the Sky Anchor. Um, I, I, I need a Sky Anchor. Uh, and the reason you need a Sky Anchor is uh, it allows you to start anchoring uh, when, you're, when your vessel is further away from the land uh, and on progressively more uneven. Uh, so with a Sky Anchor, uh, it allows me to kind of anchor wherever I want to so I can still charge and stuff like that. Uh, like, heck, even in this spot right here, like, the Sky Anchor would allow me to anchor in there still. Um, the, uh, because it, it really doesn't care about, you know, how far away the uh, stuff is below you. Uh, so, but in order to do that, I've got to get a lot further into the story. Um, and, like, it, I, I know, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying the, the slow burn, uh, and, because I, I'm instead of sitting down recording all these in one day, I, I play for you know thirty minutes to an hour or so, uh, and then you know record a video. Uh, we get it out, and and uh, then I, it allows me to play some other games and kind of keep uh, <laughs> keep keep the pain tolerance. Because uh, sometimes the pain tolerance in this game. Uh, especially once you start building world vehicles and you start trying to go over some of these, the land, it can get uh, a, a bit a bit difficult. Uh, once I get up to uh, the point of needing a larger vehicle, uh, it, I may stay in a smaller vehicle for longer than I usually do, uh, just to kind of keep that pain tolerance down a little bit. Uh, I, I've got a few ideas uh, to try and maybe not cause as, as many problems as soon. Uh, but the, the real issue is the suspension, right? You, you just don't, this game doesn't have suspension. Um, and not having suspension makes it, oh, really? They got like, excited and turned over here and jerk. Um, but uh, between playing this game and uh, like, Starcom, uh, it just, I, I'm, I'm having so much fun with Starcom right now, and, and that, you know, bleeding into this, and this one's bleeding back, and, uh, it, it's, it's just, it's good fun. That's a little bit of a more fancy guy there. That may have actually been, no, that, that was heavy. It looks like it may have been mine for a but... How are you still there? But yeah, the uh, the old SCU on the back trick is a uh, is working well. I'm really I'm really happy with that. I don't know if I've ever built one with that thing turned up on its side like that before. Uh, it's definitely working well, though. Usually, I'm too afraid to stuck them, stick them in the back like that, where they can get shot. Uh, but this thing, this thing spins around fast enough that it's not that big of a deal. I think there's another. Another tower over here. Take this stuff, go turn it in. See if there's anything, uh, any more missions. Because really, what I need to do is, and I'm level three uh, GSO now. So I should be able, I know I've started picking up venture stuff. Uh,
uh, nothing really super awesome. In between episodes, I may pick out some of the uh, some of the easier uh, missions with the uh, you know take out the the minions and uh, I'll leave the big ones like take out the bases and stuff like that for camera work. Uh, I try not to do too much off camera with this game uh, because it's really easy. For me to uh, die, uh, <laughs> run into a to a big guy fairly quickly, and uh, then then you need a new a new ship. It's easy to get overwhelmed. Oh no, he's got the high ground. Oh, you should have kept the high ground, jerk face. I would have stayed up there. You, you, I, you could cause some damage doing that, getting above somebody like that, just just unloading on them. Yeah, there was. I was. I was. I was worried for a minute. This one, uh, with these new tires, this no climb. And, uh, I, I'm kind of leery about putting uh, bigger tires on it, though, uh, just because. Uh, Uh, we get too far away from the, the land and it gets harder and harder to try to anchor. I can try to use some of the GSO anchors. Uh, I think they reach out a little bit further. I'm already having some difficulty trying to get things to anchor correctly. A nice little bonk. You didn't actually want to anchor today, did you? All right, let's get up here. We'll get this GSO station going. If there's anything fun in here, we got hostels, lost pay payload, hooligans. Uh, still no. Uh, Any fun in here? Or those? Oh, I can gyro these. Other SC. Nothing that I really need. All right, off to go to the next area. So the beginning of the game uh, is just literally kind of traveling around. Uh, it's just doing some traveling uh, and uh, trying to get to your next mission and then uh, seeing what you can pick up along the way. So a lot of these, and I always say, oh, I'm going to take and destroy a bunch of this and break it down for parts and stuff, and I rarely ever do. If, uh, I take that base that we had earlier and uh, Put stuff in there. Uh, I think there's a deliver crate. Oh, there's. Oh, wasn't even a trap this time. Like a fender. All right, off we go. Poor little ship. <laughs> the trick with it is, is to try to to hit the uh, the angles pretty pretty square. Um, if I can get them fairly square. Then, then we're okay. Uh, this this may be this may be more than I than I uh, uh, this this may be more than I I signed up for.
and I am uh, selecting a target by center clicking. Let's see if I can get some of this stuff picked up. Oh, mortars. I like mortars. Could have used more mortars. Does that seem like that was only one so far? We'll look and see how many mortars I actually found. Uh, if I found more than than one, mortars are good fun. There it goes. All right. Let's see. Let's go look at weapons. Uh, we have two mortars. Let's, let's go to blocks. Go. Well, the problem is, is that, uh, you know what? Maybe we'll just do that. That'll be, that'll be fine. That's, that's, will be fine. That, 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 this. I don't think that front was going to do anything, but it's there. B, GSO. Uh, nope, let's go with flush fill modes. <laughs> All right. Put a couple of mortars up on top. Uh, let's open for more mortars, but some days you just get what you get. All right, gonna drive around. Ow, 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 ow. Wow. It wasn't very nice. I would stop behind this wall here and uh, fill my power back up. I don't think I've gotten a... Uh... I think it's an accessory block. Oh, I do have one. So basically what that does is it tells me what my power is without having to look at the batteries. And there's other ones where you can turn things on and off. There's one that you can control your shields and your repair bubbles and stuff like that. So if you're worried about, about using power, uh, then you can kind of uh, not have to worry about it as much. Okay, go up, go up, go up, go up. Come on. There you go. Get some speed. Oh. Uh, actually, I don't want to kill him up there because I'll never get his parts. Oh, that's not a good place to go, my friend. Well, I guess it is a good place to go. Keep you safe from me.
Back to my old tricks already. So he fell off down there, so we can't really do anything about it now. I get blasted by that Sam sighting. Oh, I still, oh, I shoot at those things. Oh, I'll, I'll leave it over there. So for some reason, it's decided it wants to shoot at those the towers that are over there. Uh, I am perfectly fine with it doing that. Okay, just keep spinning around. Uh, we did get one missile launcher, so that's good. Couple of DSO larger will. That guy's still going hard over there. Move those over here. We'll get those in a minute. Not gone well for you, my friend. Not done well at all. All right. Uh, this place is way too uneven. So when uh, it's too uneven, we just do this. And then we're going to go in here, manage text, and we'll go pick, get up, pick, get up, get up. All works out. A couple more pieces of plating. Go over here. We'll go ahead and pick this piece of plating up and, and charge back up. Then we'll go see if we can find this uh, dead drop. See if we can find some more pieces. But yeah, so that was the... the yeah, Sam Sam site. So that was that was good fun. I was uh, a lot scarier than it actually was, I guess. the The trick is is to have something fast enough that you can get across these these openings where that Sam site's trying to freaking nuke you. Uh, you can kind of not get dead. Now I don't think. I think I only got one missile. Uh, we can go look. Uh, so we got a couple more of the fixed barrel mortars. We only got the one missile. Okay, we'll uh, we'll put some more mortars on. Uh, mortars are good. Uh, they they do long range. They're they're you don't want to depend on them. Uh, but considering where you're putting them in the back of your your ship, uh, and they're firing forward, uh, and you can just basically line them up like that. Uh, if if that thing stops for a second and it's just it's gonna get pelted. Uh, and it's at that point it's extra damage that you weren't really expecting. Uh, because of where they're setting at. Uh, you don't usually have weapons back there. Uh, and the weapons that I did have back there were firing off the side. Uh, so unless I was down angled or something, because those the pea shooters uh, will will aim forward and then they will start aiming up. So if you get in a situation where you're like this, 
then you can actually bring all those to bear. But the problem is, in that situation is really hard to be able to always do in a fight. Um, it's it's hard to uh, to set that up, and usually by the time you start getting shot at, uh, you're more worried about uh, trying to get maneuvered and trying to get get set up so that you know you're not having pieces of. Oh, I got it! I had a piece blown off. Oh no! Uh, I kind of want to do like gimbal or something, but these things things are so much. Like the gimbal are, are they're just massive. Uh, so instead we'll just put that guy right back. No, give me one of those. All right. I guess I could I could go. I can just fill the entire front of the ship with uh, three pound cannons. I think I have enough of them. How many, how many three pound cannons do I have? 32 of them? Yeah. <laughs> I can just fill the entire front of the ship with three pound cannons. They're kind of slow firing, but they hit like trucks. All right. Pick up that stuff. We'll slowly make our way over there. But that's kind of the the uh, the way the game plays and the way it works. Maybe uh, maybe I'll get over there and see if we can do something with the uh, the lasers on the front. I can kind of take this one and, and make some small changes to it and kind of kind of do it. Uh, that's a bigger guy. We'll go have a chat with him. Oh no, he's got the high ground. Oh no, that is. Oh, he had all the three pound cannons. He had all the three pound cannons. So the good news about doing this is uh, that as long as you know I wait long enough for my all my solar panels to to extend, uh, we can actually start. We can keep our our power kind of popped off, uh, especially with the number of batteries that we have right now. Uh, it's it's really helpful. Uh, greatly decreases your your chances of having you know pieces of your ship blown off on a regular basis, which uh, which nobody wants to have happen. Oh, this guy. This is not. This is not. All right. Well, this this changes things. Because I'm sure I'm sure not paying him money. Let's see. That's the cab. So if you don't know what this guy does, uh, he basically he's a he's a toll booth, uh, and you either have to blow him up, or you have to uh, to pay the toll. Uh, and I'm not paying the toll, so it kind of limits my options. So. Let me get this guy down. Make sure. Nope. Where are you going, Tyre? Get... All right. Pick up all the tires. All right. So we have all that stuff going in. Okay, go in, go in. All right. So let's go. Go back to my block here.
not the right one. There it is. Nope. Like that. Pop that one back off. Do that. All right, so those are kind of there like that. So let's go look at our batteries real quick. Power blocks, I've only got one more battery. Get five more of those. And I easily. All right, so those are all in there. Really put that anywhere in the front. All right, so let's put a little bit more, a little bit more flock here on the front. Up trunk. All right, so you guys are going to be difficult. Evidently, I don't have enough of those. That. Do that. Let's get us a couple of wheels here. Right. And the reason I'm putting wheels on the inside is to help. Uh, because this thing's this thing's fixing to catch, catch some weight. It is going to catch some weight. All right, so that stuff's all good there. Now let's go back to our blocks. And then by doing this, you can uh, fill your blocks completely in. Actually, we can probably fill here like this. The, uh, the more blocks you have, the uh, ultimately the stronger, the more hits you can take. At least, at least that's my plan. We'll see if it works out for me or not. And then eventually what I'll do is I need to get rid of this guy. I need to get rid of this guy. Nope. I'm going to get rid of that guy. Now, we're going to do some craziness. Let's go here to our weapons. We have this nice little fancy thing in the front. What we want, we want to do a the angled plasma cutter. Um... We're going to be word, word sized. Oh, well. I don't know if I, I don't know if I like that. I don't like that.
So we'll do those. I don't really have anything to go. Oh, I can probably put that in there. Can I? Nope. That's the oh, that's the big one. Um. Our tick leaded. Uh, it takes two. I don't really have anything that will fit in there. So we'll just go back to the old standby. Those guys. All right. So let's go back to our standard blocks here. Kind of fill these things across like this. I'm going to take these guys. All right, so those will work fine there. But before I put those in, I need to put in uh, that guy can go there. That can go there. That way, we're, we've got the front of this this ship pretty much as covered as I can for repair bubbles anyway. Um, I really want to put this geocorp repair bubble in because I kind of need it. Uh, but the problem is, is where do I put it? Uh, I can just kind of off-center it. Okay, stop. There. Get that thing fired up here in a second. Wonk. So it's a little bit off centered. Uh, I, I would have liked it more centered, but uh, it will it will do what I need it to do. I thought I just I should have had an extra battery. Where did the other battery just go that I pulled out? Didn't I have a square battery? Did I just lose a battery. I thought I had one of these. Oh, maybe it was a repair bulb. Well, I thought it was a battery. Maybe my brain's not working right. I'm going to put this battery back here. And then eventually, if I get another one, I'll put I'll put the other one over here. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's go to our blocks. That. Uh, so we'll go ahead. We'll pull this one out for now. We'll put these guys in. Just so we match, even though we have, we're, we're down a battery. All right. So now that we have all that stuff, now time to put on some guns. Uh, guns. Just a, just a few three-pound cannons. Not, nothing too crazy. Uh, I only have one more of those. I'm going in. This tiered shape on the front is just to, to get things going. Uh, it makes things a lot easier to, to stack them up that way. Uh, so, unfortunately, uh, we're going to put some more. We'll put another tier down. Toss that guy. Put that guy in there. One thing I know we need, it's more guns. We are we are going heavy artillery. 
All right. I'd like to have more missiles and stuff like that, uh, but it's not in the cards right now. Accessory block. Not the ones I want it. Where am I? Standard block? There, standard block. So, I want to get shot player. I have a bunch of those. All right, so we need to do a little bit changes for back there. That's fine. The shock plating should be more helpful with my uh, my shenanigans. But these things are doing me no good now. This one's doing me no good now. These are useless. All right. So let's get us two more of these. Now, the only problem with some of these things is they're starting to get outside of our bubble. Uh, so our bubbles, I probably need to push the bubbles out a little bit. But for now, we'll we'll just let it ride. Uh, just let it ride. All right. Seems like this was all a good plan. Uh, we will be uh, waiting for daylight uh, because uh, going up there right now would be uh, silly. Uh, six accessory blocks. Six of those. I'll put some of those up there. Sure, why not? We'll just carry stuff. Carry parts. Because now we can go do this and we can go pick up things and go. And then when we go to sell things, it could take us six forever to do it. Uh, if, and then <laughs> if I actually get close enough to something in the front, those, uh, those things, those things will just rip stuff. It's, they're great. Uh, but we need to wait for the sun to come up. Uh, but we should be able to carry lots of resources now. And you see those tires in the middle uh, should help with uh, not getting high centered so much, especially with this being as heavy as, as we're starting to get. You're definitely causing a little bit more damage, though. I'll have to build a... Uh... Probably between... Oh, geez, we're... that took me longer, a lot longer than I expected. Oh, well. All right, we're just going to run a little bit longer. Uh, if you all want to watch longer episodes, I try to keep things at like 30 minutes. Uh, if you're okay with the longer, the longer time, let me know. Uh, we'll, we can kind of cross that bridge or see what we can do. But right now I'm waiting for for the stuff. Uh, I, I may try to go in. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just let it ride and see what happens. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out the, this whole YouTube thing. Uh, it, I'm still fairly new to it. My channel's, my channel's old. Um, 
So if you're wondering what happened to my my channel and the reason it's so old and the reason uh, I didn't have videos for a very long time, uh, what happened was back a long time ago, I played a game called uh, Dub Wars. Uh, it was a little indie game, a really, really cool game. Uh, and I talked to the developer and he, uh, they're like, yeah, you know, and the, the problem with that game is uh, the music, the music is a very, very big part of the game. Uh, so if you turn the music off in the game, it just, it, the game doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You, you need the music because basically what happens is it's a, a side scroller, like shoot 'em up type game. And uh, it plays dub songs that, and the, the game is basically synced to the, the song. So as you're, as the song is playing, uh, as the, the, uh, the, as the bass drops, uh, it actually, that's what causes the, uh, the weapons to fire. Uh, so you really need to have, uh, you really need to have the music. Uh, and when I uploaded the, the stuff to YouTube, uh, the, it, it wasn't even the, the artist that, that had done the music, uh, but the, a company on behalf of the artist, uh, basically copyright claimed. And I, I ended up with, I think it was two or three copyright claims on a single video. And, uh, it basically, I got very upset. Did they shoot all my stuff off the, oh, I shot all my own stuff off the top of my, my thing. This may be a bad design. Um, so I ended up uh, getting a bunch of DMCA copyright claims. And, uh, unfortunately at the time I didn't understand them very well. And if I would have, you know, at, at the time, if you start fighting that stuff, uh, they basically, you can, you can have your channel shut down. Uh, so I basically, I'm, I'm not able to, to, and see, this is a problem with, with building stuff like this sometimes. It's because now I, I, I just, I can't get it to, I can't get it to lock. Like this is, this is flat, flat. Like that, that's flat. Like I, I can't, I don't know. Like, like that, that area up there is, is basically as flat as I can get it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I got to charge here real quick. So, and that's really the uh, the benefit of having the, like the sky anchor. Uh, if I could get the sky anchor, uh, like I don't have to try to hunt around and, and peck and find someplace. Anyway, so uh, I, I got a bunch of DMCA strike. Uh, those eventually went away. They were eventually cleared. Uh, since then, I've gotten more DMCA strikes. I understand a little bit better of how to use them and how to... Uh, you know, how to, to, you know, make sure that I'm in the right to begin with. Uh, and, and I was in the right at that time. Uh, like I had permission. I had, uh, everything was, you know, like I, I had permission to play the game from the developer. The developer had permission to play the songs. Uh, and they had permission to use them on YouTube and stuff like that. It's just a copyright troll basically got a hold of them. Um, uh, and that in and of itself can get complicated. Uh, so I stopped, I went straight to YouTube or straight to Twitch for a very long time. Uh, and then recently I decided to, uh, Twitch, Twitch was just stalled out. Uh, so we decided to come back over to YouTube and start moving over here. Uh, but that's, that's kind of the reason. And, uh, so for somebody that, if y'all stay this late in the game or in the, in the video, get a little bit of backstory. All right, let's, so that's, that stuff all good. All right, I'll get that. I'll get try to get that sorted out uh, between episodes. I'll put a battery inside of it or something. Uh, I should probably. I'm gonna save because I'm scared. I'm gonna save because I am scared. See whose days get run, buddy. 
<laughs> Alright, so don't I want I want those tires. There's only three of them though. Oh, and there's like a bunch of battleship cannons too. Oh that that was a good that this was good stuff right here. This was all good stuff. Uh so it looks like there's a couple anchors. There's a definitely a couple of Hawkeye weapons in there. Uh there's a couple of those really large tires, which are really nice. Unfortunately, I, there was only three of them. It looked like the last one got destroyed. Um uh, it doesn't look like it got knocked down there. So but now uh, this is this is completely flat, right? Nope. Oh, that's why. Okay, I know why. Uh, because I moved everything up one. So what I'll need to do is... Do this right here like this, and then the trick now is is to try to grab this guy. No, I don't want to. That's what's going on. All right. Aha. So what happened? I forgot. I, I lifted. Uh, did I lift one? Yeah, I lifted one. Uh, so I lifted the entire vehicle up one square uh, so that I could put these things on the front. Uh, but when I did that, these things were then just out of reach. So that's it, that was my own doing. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to have to redo uh, the guns up here. Oh, that, that's probably these guns right here that are causing problems. This is what's probably destroying all my stuff. Get rid of those. And then, uh, oh, we got, we got some, new, some new guns. Uh, so we have... It's some Hawkeye stuff. Oh, we have a Hawkeye mortar. Uh, we got two HG-1 uh, cannon turret. And we got nine battleship cannons. Um, uh, leave a comment below if you want me to build something with the battleship cannons. <laughs> They're, they, are, they are mean. Uh, especially at range. But with that, uh, we have conquered the bridge. Uh, and then uh, we will go from there. We'll see you all next time. Uh, sorry for the long episode. Uh, drop a comment down below if y'all like the long episode. Drop a comment down below if you don't like the long episode. Uh, and then we'll kind of kind of see where we are in the future. With that, y'all be safe, and we'll talk to y'all soon.